from getting punched in the face. You're under arrest. To getting tied up like pretzels. Here are some of the most satisfying times when cops finally give Karens the karma they deserve. What you just witnessed were two of the most obnoxious Karens around, Tangenic Bird and Tyriana Edmonds. These two were minding their own business at Walmart when a group of women who Bird had some serious beef with confronted them. It didn't take long for things to devolve into a very messy Walmart brawl. They took my sister just two days ago. They hurt, they hurt my sister. They just hurt my sister. They just took my, my sister's a month pregnant. My sister is pregnant. Sir, so you're hurting my arm. Stop pulling away. I'm not, I'm not pulling away. I got beat by a cop before. I'm not pulling away from you. I'm we're black. Gonna, we're going to go to the office. Are they going to jump me? Wow. The pair had to be detained. When their brawl got so out of hand, they were injuring innocent shoppers around them. Unfortunately, this pair of Karens weren't the type to go quietly. Seeing her friend get arrested sent Edmonds into a full-blown meltdown, and it wasn't long before Tangenic was throwing a fit too. Too bad for them, the officers were already running out of patience. The duo racked up a bunch of charges, including attempted assault, resisting arrest, and child endangerment. After this event, they then went out to seek justice by slapping the cops with an $18 million lawsuit for damages. These two Karens were clearly a handful. But if you thought that was bad, this is what it looks like trying to arrest a Karen with an active warrant. That was 29-year-old Tyjana Smith, and this was her just a few moments ago when she was desperately trying to lie her way out of a traffic stop. Hi there. Hi. You know why I stopped you? No. When you turned on to Alexander from McKee, you went right through the stop sign. I didn't. I didn't. You got your driver's license? Despite having been caught red-handed, Tyjana still had the guts to deny everything. Unfortunately for her, the traffic violation was probably the least worrisome thing she was hiding. I don't. I you don't? Left from my friend's house. I don't. My purse is there. What's that? I said I don't. My purse is at my friend's house. Okay. All right. So you don't have any ID on you whatsoever? No, but I didn't run to no stop sign. Yeah, yeah you did. I didn't. Okay. All right. What's your name? What's your name, ma'am? Hello? Hey, I'm talking to you. I hear you. Okay, you have to identify yourself. One second. No, this is not how that works. No, because you just pulled me over when I literally just parked. Okay. And I'm All pulling right. up to pick up my friend. Okay. I'm confused on why you forgot. It's very simple. You just ran a stop sign. I okay. did, though. Yeah, you did. Okay. I just need, I need, I need your name. Ma'am, turn the car off, please. 
Thank you. <clears throat> Tijana suddenly got super defensive when the officer asked for her name. Little did he know, she was actually putting on an act to cover up her active warrant. Sensing something was off, the officer asked her to step out of the car. Step up. That's not how this works. Step out of the car. You just pull me up. Step out of reason. Step out of the car. No. Yes. Listen, this is gonna go a couple ways, okay? You can either listen, we can do this easy, or you Right, but okay, so okay. let me see me running the stop sign. You got your camo, right? We, we have cameras, yes. Okay, so let me see it. No, I'm not okay. showing you the well, camera. I'm about step to call my lawyer no. and you can back the f up because step I out of the car. Right. Step out of the car, okay. or I'm gonna make you step out of the car, okay? We need you to get step out of the car. We can have a conversation I'm about in the to back. Get, no, no, no. That's, it's, not, that's not how this works. No, no, that's what not is, how this step works. Step out of the car. No, that is the how the it works no, because not. I didn't do anything, and you're no. gonna. You're, if I have to put hands on you and you resist, you're gonna get another charge, okay? So we just need you to step out. So step we out of the car, please. To force you to come out. Instead of cooperating, Tijana chose to make things difficult and decided to respond with sass. It wouldn't take long for her to learn why messing around with the law is never a great idea. Step out of the car. Do it. Step out of the car. Okay, step out of the car. Don't kick me. Don't kick me. Put your hands behind your hands. Put your hands behind your back. Give me your f hands! Give me your f hands! Stars at 15. Give me your hands! Food spray, real quick. Give me your hands! You're getting pepper sprayed! Give me your hands! You got my hands! You got my hands! Give me your hands! You got my hands! You are not listening. And you Give got hands. my hands! Put them behind your back! How? What you want them? Put them behind your back! I can't! Stop. Everything's corny. Now I'm And you just punched me in my face. Yeah, you kicked me. You, you hit me. And you pulled my leg off. The arrest was harsh but apparently not harsh enough for Tijana, as she would continue to threaten the officers. Y'all know I'm f***ing one of y'all cops. you done. <laughs> <coughs> done. Should've listened. Yeah, you could. You, you should've could. just listened. All right, it's over. One of y'all, so it's over. Get it's my over. phone! Come over here. Get my phone! Sit in the car. Sit in the car. Sit down. Tijana ended up facing multiple charges, such as battery against a public safety official and refusal to identify herself. On the other hand, an internal affairs investigation was also done for the two cops involved in the case. The officers got lucky that Tijana wasn't much of a challenge to deal with, at least compared to this next Karen. I ain't over there. Get away right now. You're under arrest. This is Jaden, the kind of Karen who'd gladly throw hands with the cops. When officers showed up after he had been sending death threats to his neighbors, he made it clear that he wasn't in the mood for a friendly chat. Jaden, I know you're in there, so listen up. You go come to the door right now and explain your side of things. You will be charged with harassment and a criminal summons will be put out for you. So that means whenever you are found, and Mets, you will be brought to court. You understand that? There's charges. So it probably behooves you to come outside. Come outside and talk. All right, then harassment it is. Let's go. As you can tell, Jaden had no intention of cooperating with the law, but despite his reaction, the officer still tried to gently inform him about his potential charges. Unfortunately, Jaden didn't take this news very well. Hey, Jaden. Deputy Tehar again. Now listen, if you go back over to 126 Cedarwood Drive, you'll be trespassed, okay? It's another violation, another arrest. Just wanted to make sure you were aware. If you have any questions, give the sheriff's office a call. My property, now he's gonna tell you again. I could be here pursuant no, to my job. No, you can't yes, be I here. Can. No, you can't. I'm here Goodbye. to tell you that you're formally Goodbye. trespassed. If you go. go over there, you're going to get another I charge. don't give up. Get off my property I can be now. Here pursuant to my job. 
Goodbye. What are you gonna do about it? You wanna know? Cause I'll beat the living right out of you, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. You gonna come at me? Really? You're really? gonna come at me right now? Get the f off my property. Get away from me now. What are you gonna do? Back away. Get back in your house. I don't have to. This is wanna, my you yard. Wanna, you don't want to touch so, me. So, I'll walk you to the road. How about I'm that? I'm working on come it. Come on, pal. Walk you to the road. How about that? I'm working on it. All right. Well, don't come back. Because if you, you can't do. Tell me what to do. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. It's my house. And I can kick <laughs> you off any time I want unless you have no, a warrant. No, pursuant to my job, I'm allowed to be on your property. No, you can't. Get the. I'm on the property. Excuse me? Get the. From me. Excuse I'm me? On the road. I don't give a. Do you need to be it's arrested? Free land. I can walk wherever I want, just like you can, right? Am I right or am I wrong? You get the away from my house. I'm not on your, I'm not on your property. It's still my house. You're still right here. And goodbye. Jaden had managed to escalate a simple warning. It wouldn't take long for him to cross the line and prove just how dangerous he really was. There's something else. Yeah, you, know you are. Listen, if you go back over there. I ain't over there. Away from me. Get away right now. You ain't Shove me. Get Take away. it off. No Take way. it off. Get away. No, you ain't gonna shove me like that. Yeah, I don't know I who the f you think you are. You're getting in Just because you got this. Wait for me. You're under arrest, okay? I am. Yeah, you are. Get up off me. Get your under arrest. Riser some five control. I got a combatant subject. Jaden clearly had no issues with using brute force against others. Little did he know he was messing with an officer that's about to teach him a very hard lesson. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Get out of your stomach. Get on your stomach now. No. Yeah, I'm no. I won't. More people are coming, you know. I right? don't give up, Bob. Think you're all coming Nacho because you got a badge? Where is it, buddy? Okay, you don't have one. For a five zero seven five seven. Get out of here. Oh sorry. Yeah, okay. Five zero seven five to control. I have the subject down. He's refusing to put their hands behind their back. Yeah. Weaker share, I'm gonna break your shoulder. Yeah. Back. Arms behind your back now. Uh. What I say? Uh. Give me your other arm right now. What I say? That's right. Shut the Get your arm over here now. We got two cars. I'll give him another. I'll give you another car. All right. Dehart, take a second. We got him. Hey, he's good. You can put him on his side. Let me go. My arms are no. Did no. I say? Fight with my partner here? Sensing that there's no more chance for escape, Jaden tried to pull the victim card and started whining about body pain. But after all he'd done, no one was buying it. No, I can't. My whole body's numb. I suffer from carpal tunnel. Guess what? Pick the wrong guy to mess with. What the, you want to go to the ground? Quit the right now. Do not us. Blow me. Okay. Yeah, I got a grenade. Ah! Stop. Oh, man. Relax. Relax. 
Jaden was later sent to jail and was arrested for multiple charges, including second degree assault, fourth degree criminal mischief, resisting arrest, and harassment. Now he might seem a little unhinged, but he's nothing compared to the next one. And I could kill you. I could drain all of you right now when you have weapons on you. And my son could still come in here and ravage their whores. I can't. Stop. Now kick it. Get down to the ground. Stop. Put your hands around your back. This particular arrest went down in Sarasota County, Florida, where the cops got a call about this woman, Jeannie Valonis. She'd just broken into and stolen from a convenience store, and when the police showed up, they found her just chilling outside the store she'd just robbed, like it was no big deal. Uh, ma'am? Hi. Sorry, I didn't catch your information. What's your name? Do you have a name? What's your name? Do you have a name? Yeah, Officer Silva from Sarasota Police Department. Can I see your birth certificate and your social security number? No. Are you going to ask me for mine? Ma'am, you're, you're, you're being currently at this time trespassed. You understand that, right? What's, what's your name? Can we talk about this? Do you want to have a conversation with me? Don't put your hands on me. You have no right to... What if I was... What if I was a mute? What if I was... Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you taking I'm, gloves out? You see how I have to disarm this man right I'm now? I'm just trying to have a conversation. That would be abuse to the court. I'm just trying that to have a conversation. You think you can get a headshot from the building behind you. Do you want to try talking to her? It didn't take long for officers to realize that Jenny's not quite all there. She would later go on and threaten the poor officers with the most insane yapping ever recorded. Do you, you think right? this is funny because I can regulate this as a human being that you're not watching a real human experience and I could kill you. I could drain all of you right now when you have weapons on you and my son could still come in here and ravage their what is wrong with you? Are you okay? Are you okay? Do you want to die right now? I'm just trying to have a conversation. Would you want to die right now? Would you want to stick a gun so I'm deep in my mother's mouth with my hands I'm locked out on this ground? Are you feel like that? Yeah. You're abusing the out of me, and I'm not out of control. And I wouldn't need a hospital, and I can rearrange your homes. You can't even have them anymore. I told you they're going to give them back. I own them all. The officers were too stunned to speak. Out of concern, they decided to invite her to the hospital. Unfortunately, this would only make things worse. You okay? I don't need to go to the hospital. I don't need to go to the hospital. No. I need to get real human rest. And if somebody doesn't understand what the f he's going on right now, how many more times can I do this lens right in front of your f face? You're exterminating my family. Who, who are you talking to? I'm gonna talk to you. I, you want me to stop talking? Do you want me to stop no, talking? No. Because everybody who he knows me from the fabric of existence knows if I stop talking, somebody's gonna get hurt. If you put your hands on me, I'm gonna break off. Are you prepared to shoot me in my middle face? Because if you are, you better come to lock it. Write the down and stick that so deep in my mouth. While Jenny was having an episode, a good Samaritan popped up and told the officers how demure Jenny typically was and would try to deal with this rapidly devolving situation. I come here every morning, I buy them coffee, all the, the homeless here. Um, and she's always been like a mute. She doesn't speak, she doesn't say anything. Hey, I'm trying to not Hey, everything's okay. Here, come on. It's not okay. It's okay. Your bed's here. Court. Have, 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 have them try to calm her down. Okay. But I was this close to tasing her. Thank you. I think she's just a little crazy. Yeah. yeah. In a move that surprised absolutely nobody, the Good Samaritan gave up after a few minutes. This left the officers no choice but to calm her down themselves. Of course, that was easier said than done. I mean, you're, you're flexing on me right now. I'm, I've been trying to have a conversation with you. I ever call my son talking about food and water. It didn't take long for the officers to realize that calmly trespassing this woman was next to impossible. They needed to get their hands dirty to get the job done. As you can imagine, this did not go down well with Jenny. Where is my stuff? I kick! I kick! I kick! Stop! Now kick it! Get down to the ground! Stop. Put your hands behind your back! Stop. Put your hands behind your back! Stop kicking! Stop resisting! Put your hands behind your back! Stop. They're still abusing and hurting me. You see this? They're still hurting me. 
and I'm not resisting arrest. Stop They're resisting. Abusing. They're punching Stop me. Stop resisting. They're trying to break my phone. Put your hands phone? behind your back. Right now. One five six. We have one white female, ten fifteen. Stop resisting. Take my gloves off. Go ahead. Stop my facing. Stop my facing. Go ahead. They did this to me already. I'm not going to do that. Yep, I got it, I got it. There you go. Stop, stop resisting. So we're gonna die together. I'm breaking my bones. We're hurting my vessel to court. I'm already dying. me in my face and break my bones to steal my dehydrate me and starve me and deprive me of medical care that I could never get. After what seemed like forever, Jenny was finally successfully detained. Sometime later, another officer decided to check up on her to make sure that everything was all right. That went exactly as well as you'd think. Are you okay? I have to ask, I'm the sergeant on duty. Are you okay? If I don't get my back and don't get the uh, cuffs off me, your family's gonna rearrange your family. Get these cuffs off me and get my property right now. Okay, first of all, you're not going to threaten me? I'm not threatening you, I'm telling you, this isn't a threat. I've been abused to my court by your okay. fake departments well, right now. You're, you're gonna be Are you cops? With... Well, because my whole family is the real government, so I'm confused on what the f you're doing. Okay, you have a great day. Jenny was later charged with battery, resisting an officer with violence, and trespassing. Given Jenny's headspace, her actions are kind of understandable. However, this next Karen is far from excusable. My main goal now, my main goal now is to make sure you two pay for this up. That is how Danielle Don Jordan's completely reasonable reaction to getting arrested for drunk driving. However, a few minutes ago, she was a totally different woman. Hi, how are you? Good, what's going on? Nothing. All right. Any reason why you're here? I was uh, at my mom's house, which is like a few houses down. Okay. Were you, were you yelling or something? Because we got a call that you were yelling out your car or yelling at somebody. It all started with an anonymous 911 caller claiming Danielle was having a meltdown at her mom's driveway, yelling threats and threatening to wreck the place. Of course, Danielle denied it all. Yeah, no, my mom's a psycho. Okay. Well, she has a lot of money and she took my daughter from me. Okay. Why are you parked here? Because when I left, I wanted to cry and I didn't okay. want to cry and drive. Okay. If it wasn't obvious already, Danielle here was very drunk, and the officers noticed that her breath reeked of alcohol. What came next is a master class in avoiding responsibility. You guys don't get much here in Campfield. Let me go. Well, I can't let you go if you've been drinking, if you've been driving, or if you've been drinking. I can't let you go. But wait a second. Who said I was drinking and driving? I'm just saying, if you were drinking, I can't let you drive. I'm not. Right? So that's the but thing. But who told you that? What's that? But who told you that? Come on, man. Just be a real human being. I'm telling you, you will f my whole life up right now. Okay, I'm not trying to do that, Jordan. Yeah, well then just what? let me go. What else can I tell you? I'm a good person. I'm a good mom. Well, no one. No if one, I'm coming and doing something. No one is judging you or no one's saying you're a bad person. Did I hurt somebody? Did we say you, you hurt somebody? Apparently, you're treating me like I hurt somebody. Well, I've been here for five minutes, and he's been very nice to you, and so have I. And, and, and have I not been nice to you? Did I say you were? I'm asking you a question. I'm telling you an answer. No, you haven't. Okay? Being the Karen that she is, Danielle took their questions as some sort of personal attack against her. But these officers were in no mood to play her silly games. You want my honest opinion? You're being very confrontational, and he's being very nice to you. I'm being very nice. Well, you're being confrontational. He's talking to you. No, you want me to be confrontational. I do not. I want you to just talk normal, just like we are. That's what I'm doing. Okay, but you're getting irritated, and we're just having a conversation. I'm not irritated. Okay, well, it appears to me that you are. You just came out of here, and you 
acted like a hero. I acted like a hero, And you too. told me that I'm being confrontational when I'm literally standing here okay. not being confrontational. Well, I didn't mean you're trying to fight, but you're getting me irritated a little bit. I mean, we're just having a conversation. Okay. Well, don't get in the car. How much have you had to drink? Because I can smell it. So you had something to drink. So, we're going to try that again. So you want to ruin my life? No one's trying to ruin your life. We're asking you questions. Our goal is not to arrest you, to get you in trouble or anything, but... I like him, though. Okay. Absolutely. Talk to him, then. We're not out here to cause any problems, okay? All we're right. trying to figure so out what's going no on. no idea okay. what I've been through in my okay. life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> my day. My life. Well, what's going on? You need to talk to someone? I don't see anything in the car. There's two balls in the middle of the passengers. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. Okay. All right. What's up with the Malibu in the car? It's in there. Okay. Did you have any tonight? Just be truthful with me. I wish I could. Okay. I don't trust you anymore. Okay. I'm just asking you a question. Have you had anything I am to drink? 100%. If I was to drive from here to my house, a hundred percent. I would make it from here to my house with nothing wrong. Okay. That was a bold claim coming from a woman who could barely string her words together. So the officers tried to get her to put her money where her mouth is and pass a field sobriety test. Do me a favor, okay? Just put your hands up on your cheeks for me, okay? Right, see the tip of my pen here? Okay, I want you to follow yeah. me. Like the last person, the and last no. police person that did this to me. Me? I'm not trying to do that, okay? Yeah, well, it happened Listen, me 20 favor. years ago. Just move, just move your eyes, not your head, okay? Yep. Just like on There you go. Just stay in that position for me, okay? Just keep your arms down. You okay, know I have back problems, right? Okay, what's I had wrong back, back surgery. Okay, how long And ago? I have problems in my left leg. Okay, in my right problem. leg. How many drinks have you had tonight? Zero. Okay. Because with the test that I saw, it seemed like you had a little bit more than zero drinks. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Despite Danielle's endless excuses, the officers still proceeded to arrest her anyway. Little did they know, this would trigger Danielle, turning her from a regular Karen to something straight out of a nightmare. I'm literally standing here doing oh. your dumb forever. Well, you understand people people getting uh, oh, DUI accidents oh, too? God. Stay over here. I'm over it. Okay. You guys. Stay over here. Leave me alone. Stay over here. Stay over here. You're not getting in your car. Stay over here. Who are you? Are you really doing this to me? 27. Do you know what you're doing to me? Stay over here. Stand here. Stop walking away. I'm not drink too much. Get away from me. Get away from me. Stop. I am not Stop. doing anything wrong. Stop. Listen. I am not doing anything wrong. I am not doing anything wrong. Stop. I am not doing anything. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. I got this one. Stop. 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 I am not doing anything wrong. Stop. 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 I am not doing Stop resisting. Stop. Put your hands behind your back you so we can stand you up. Stop. 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 Listen, we're going to sit you up. You have to stop pulling oh away. God. Stop pulling away. Ow. On your butt. Ow. Sit up. No, take a breath. Okay, breathe. No. no, you guys will pay for this. Okay, no. My main goal now, my main goal now is to make sure you two pay for this. I'm not doing anything! Stop. 
Look, she's a 47. I'm not doing anything! Despite the cops trying to calm her down, Danielle went on with her meltdown, thinking that shouting threats and making a massive scene would magically get her released. After what felt like an eternity, the officers finally managed to detain Danielle, but if you think that would get her acting right, you're wrong. By the time they made it to the station, Danielle showed everyone that she wasn't done whining just yet. Oh my god! Look at my face! Well, that's why I want the fire department to come in and check you out. Yeah, because you know what you did to me! Okay, well I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you. Are you gonna be okay? I never attacked you guys! Where are you hurt at? What's hurting? I told them I had a bad back. I showed them everything I told okay. them. Here, can you tell me what year it is? Are you being serious right now? Dead serious. I have to ask these questions. You have to tell me. What year is it? I'm not even drunk. I don't. I I'm completely sober. sober. That's fine. I'm not saying And they drunk. beat the f out. I'm not saying you're drunk. All I'm saying is... 2024! Do you want to go to the hospital? Do I want to go to the police station? Yeah. This one? No, that's fine. Because the only ones that I've been abused by are the police officers. She ended up getting charged with assault, DUI, and trespass. What Danielle did to herself may be embarrassing, but what this next Karen did was even worse. Hey, step back, step back, step back, step back. You get off your foot in your place. What you just witnessed was Dan, the domestic abuser, finally getting a taste of his own medicine. This is how it all happened. It was around 11 p.m. in Elgin, Illinois, when officers were called to check out an alleged case of domestic violence involving Dan. When they showed up, Dan's whole vibe was basically shouting guilty, even though he wasn't confessing to anything. How are you doing, sir? Light on my property. All right, we got the call. Are you Dan? Yeah, I'm Dan. Okay, is your wife home? No. Well, yeah, she's upstairs and she's not my wife. Dan immediately became aggressive. It was pretty clear he was hiding something. Unfortunately for the officers, this was just the beginning of Dan's terrible attempt at playing mind games. I'm the side of the hall. Off my property. We've told you several times we're not getting off the property until why? we're done with our investigation what? of why we got called what out. What are you here. investigating? Okay, we got a call out here. No, let you know. Idea? Step back. Oh, Put okay. the phone in my face. I'll take it from you. Okay, do that. Go ahead. Here yeah. it is. Sorry, here. Right here. Step back. Step back. Step. Please. Step back. Why are you touching me? Step back. You're going to jail. Do you have a warrant? Nope. Okay. Did you hear that? He doesn't have a warrant. No. Nope. Get off my property. You got a call. Yeah, you got a call. That's about all you got. I'll get like the typical Karen that he is, Dan chose to whip out his phone and play the victim on camera. The officers, already tired of his antics, offered an easy solution. Just let them talk to his partner. But Dan had other plans in mind. I got a 911 call from this house. Okay, she's fine. Where do you sit? What's wrong? I need to talk to her directly. No, well, she's I can't not really here. take your Sorry. word. Oh, she's not here? No, she might have called it from her cell phone. I don't know. She might be down the block somewhere trying to get me in trouble. Okay, you're right now. You're not welcome here. I understand. I understand. Obviously, she's not here. She didn't come down if it was that big 
deal. She'd be down. Now the abuser is trying to manipulate the officers into thinking that this was all his partner's scheme. Luckily, it wouldn't take long for the truth to finally come out. Go ahead and try taking it to jail. Why would we take you to jail? I don't know. Why are you on my property unless you're here to take me to jail? Why do you think you're going okay, to get arrested? Please get off my property. We can't leave at this time. I told you. Five well, it's my time. property. That's what, I know if you it can't is. arrest me and you can't, you, you got to go. I'm sorry. I don't have to go. That's not how it works. Oh, okay. I, I understand you don't want us here. All right, are you arresting me or no? I am not arresting you. Okay. You're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Um, you ain't detaining nothing, dude. No, you can't go anywhere. You ain't right now. detaining nothing. Oh, yeah, I understand. I you can don't go want wherever I want. I'm free, white, and 21. You're, you're not. You're on my right property. Now. That's what you don't understand, son. I, I understand it. Okay. Get off. Nope. Go. Shut your lights off. Get off my property. As it turns out, Dan really was hiding his partner upstairs, and the officers made their way inside to talk to her. That set Dan off, to put it lightly, and he started to become more and more agitated. Can you do me a favor and step off my property? I can't. I you told you. Don't put your finger in my face, please. I what are you going to do? What? Here. It's pointing. Point, point, point. Step point. back. Dude, you're the one that's being invasive. You need to go. Can you put this dog inside by chance? No, I can't. Man, this is yeah. water working now. Yeah. Okay, put the hose down. It's water working. Put the hose down. It's water working. You got to put out the fire. Yeah. Come on, get away from the cops. Sir, I don't want you on the, the cops. Down. Put the hose down. I'm getting the gun. Put your hands down your back. Touch me on my property. Put your hands on your back. You're under arrest. Put your hands down your back. Put your hands down your back. Dude, Stop. you need to get away from me. What are you doing? Uh -huh. That's what I want. You're attacking my dog and now you're making my dog nervous? Dude, get off of my property. You're under, you're under arrest. I'm not under arrest. You're under arrest. Like many abusers, Dan was all talk and no courage. The moment the cops tried to cuff him, he made a run for it like a coward. Unfortunately for him, there was no more escaping at that point. Hey, step back, step back, step back, step back. You get off it! In your f***ing Oh, there's f***ing... Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Ah! Somebody's got my gun. I can't want here, but... You guys! Do you still have it? No. Stop! <sighs> I got you. Bitches. Dude, stop choking me! <laughs> what the f? Why are you digging into my face? Stop! Get out of I said, stop, stop it. it! Oh, really? Hey. Are you saving the world right now by smashing my f head into the concrete? <laughs> You I get I get you in ah, way. you don't have to use that fart. I got you. Ouch! So I get you in ah! Here, move this Ouch! Dan's violent rage got him pepper sprayed by the cops. They were even nice enough to help him wash it off. Of course, Dan used it as a chance to blame everyone else for his own mess. And eyeballs are on fire. Alright, we got the ambulance coming. They're gonna wash them out. Oh yeah. my god, my eyes are bad. Holy you want more here. Holy cow, he sprayed it right in my an eyeball. You guys wouldn't leave. Well, we were here for a reason, man. Yeah. We don't just come into random people's houses. But you prosecuted me before anyone even came <coughs> down, or that the girl that called in the complaint. You guys beat the out of me. God damn, that burns. Just keep putting it in the water. Ah! Ah! Dan was charged with multiple charges, including two counts of aggravated battery, attempting to disarm an officer, and a misdemeanor for domestic battery. Paranoia and aggression might be a common trait for Karens, because that's exactly how this next woman got herself in trouble. Stop it! Stop resisting. Call my one word, please! In front of all the people, but not when he was along with me at the bus stop. That was Mercedes Olympia Ochoa Gonzalez, and this is how she got herself folded like a pretzel. It was 8.20 p.m. when officers received a call coming from a Gainesville Regional Airport about a woman who wouldn't stop pestering people for money. When the officers arrived, they were met with a confused and hostile woman. I am 911. The bus is coming at 8.30. You're not a 911. You're a fake police working from the drug dealers. On the bus that comes at 8.30. 
It's coming at the. I don't want you close to me. Back off, fake police. You do it back when I'm here. Point two at the front of the airport. If I can get one thirty eight. It's 8 30. I need you to come out of the road. Come out of the road for me. The officer told Mercedes to get off the road, but instead of listening, she headed straight for the cars. So the officer had to step in and fix the situation. But things just kept getting worse. Don't walk in the road for me. I'm uh, you, 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 you need to get off the road. You need to get off the road. Right? No, I want you to get off the road. I want you to get off the road. Right here. Don't fight me. Mercedes' stubbornness led her to getting tangled up like a pretzel. But somehow, despite all of this, she wasn't done fighting the police. Mercedes was sent to jail and was charged with battery on an airport security guard, resisting a law enforcement officer with violence, and resisting arrest without violence. 